Shibanda ban pen klein ban pen kre na ka ban taki election ki ban wan ka seng kongres kala shong ya kendu hanong ba dalhi ha ka ba upresiden barang ba ka seng umalai karju ulaya kendu e kinong elam jong ka tanch de elam ingi kinong elam ba hakmat ka seng lai kendu na ka por sha ka por ban ya kren halor kum no ban kentiu bat ban pet ya ka long ka man jong ka tanch sa te elam ingi bat kam tam ban pen klein ya ka seng kongres ha ba kren bat kinong to ka bor hadin ka jingelang UAICC General Secretary Organization U Kesi Vendu Kopal ulang makinong elam jong kaseng kongres kam tam ki bana stain stay lamingi ki pen pau ki jing sngau khia halor ki jing sha thombor bat ki jing sha pen pat pen pra jong ka jela Manipur kaseng kongres pro ka wei ka pha ka khubor sngau lem sha baro ki pat nong song song jong ka jela Manipur ba kin wan ra ya ki song suk ka song sai today we had a for our long meeting on election preparation of northeastern states all the except mizoram all the northeastern states leaders had participated in this meeting basically rahul ji is not in a position to attend because of his ill health little bit fever Congress President has given a clear direction to the leaders of northeastern states how to fight the elections, how to move forward, how to organize the party in a bigger level. Initially, we had discussed the situation in the Manipur. Our leaders from the Manipur are briefed about the situation in the Manipur. We took a silent prayer. We also controlled the death and observed silence for all of those nearly 150 innocent people who died in this manufactured violence. We took a silence and we unanimously passed their resolution on Manipur also. The leaders of the Congress party from the entire Northeast, under the leadership of Congress President Sri Malligarjuna Karge, have expressed a grave concern over the situation in Manipur and underlined the support and empathy with the people of Manipur for maintaining peace. The entire Congress party stands in solidarity with them. The inaction and silence of the Prime Minister and the BJP government on the situation in Manipur is unexplainable, unforgivable and criminal. The government of India has abdicated the responsibility to the people of Manipur, in particular in the role of Northeast in general. The Congress party, especially in the Northeast Pradesh Congress Committee, will continue to raise the voice of the people of Manipur and demand quick resolution for ending the violence there. The union government should take strong and all necessary steps with sincerity for maintaining peace and harmony in the state. We demand immediate ceasefire and restor restoration of peace. The Congress party leaders present this me in this meeting congratulate and express sincere gratitude towards Rahul Gandhi for his visit and spreading the message of love compassion and peace in Manipur in this time of turmoil. We also control the death and observe silence for all those nearly 150 innocent people who died in this manufactured violence. Already 70 days are over, but still our Prime Minister is in silence mode. We don't know what matter is stopping Prime Minister to give at least a peace call for Manipur people. At least the BJP party has to explain why Prime Minister is silent on these things. Why is not in a position to give a peace call? What is stopping to him? If there is any reason, please explain to the country, please explain to the nation. Certainly, and their Northeast uh, leadership want to raise this issue in the parliament. 
टुडे इवनिंग वी हैव ए पार्लियामेंट्री स्ट्रेटेजी कमिटी मीटिंग डेफिनेटली वी विल डिस्कस दैट इशू इन द स्ट्रेटेजी कमिटी मीटिंग दैट्स ऑल थैंक यू थैंक यू